Hi, everybody. Okay, so this is the first of our enrichment videos. Enrichment means it's sort of special and it's on top of the other work that you do. Uh, we are going to talk about uh, two different recipes this month for things that you might want to buy to eat at an amusement park or a fair or a carnival. Now, why would we talk about this? Because our unit in Unique is about amusement parks, right? Um, and I think uh, it even talks about the different food you can buy there and eat there. Uh, so we're going to talk about that. And we're also going to uh, do an experiment having to do with gravity later on um, to talk about how uh, roller coasters go up and down. And we're going to make our own carnival game uh, so that you can practice at home. Since we can't go to any amusement parks this summer because of the coronavirus, uh, we can't go to any carnivals or fairs. Um, I thought we could do it this way. So the first recipe, what we're going to do today is snow cones. I think you guys probably know what snow cones are. Uh, let me show you. Uh, this is a box for my snow cone machine. It doesn't show snow cones because it's trying to be fancy, but you can kind of tell. See there? You know the ice that you put the flavor on that's so delicious? It usually comes in like a triangle cup. We are making that snow cones. All right, so it might be hard for you guys to make at home because you do need a snow cone maker, but that's okay. Um, you can try kind of mixing it up with the other way I do it. Uh, and then I have special snow cone syrup, but you can make it up Kool-Aid. So just have mom and dad uh, check the internet and you can make homemade snow cone stuff without the snow cone machine. Or just watch me do it or buy one somewhere. I think they have snow cone trucks that go around sometimes. All right, so this is what we need to make snow cones. The only ingredients we need, that means food, is we need ice. Here's my ice tray, it's a little broken, but there's ice in there, can you see it? Hey, this is what we used for our popsicles last year. Uh, and you need snow cone syrup. I got this off of Amazon. Um, because I want to eat lots of snow cones this summer. So you can get some on Amazon if you want, but you don't have to. And sometimes they sell them in the stores, but sometimes they don't. So sometimes they have them at like Albertson and sometimes not. So it's hard to tell. Okay, I have three flavors. I have cherry, it's red. I have grape, which is purple. That is not my favorite. I'm not going to use that today. And I have blue raspberry, which is delicious. Mr. Cummings said that we should use bubble gum, and that is my other favorite, but we don't have any bubble gum. That's okay. All right. The tools that you will need to make snow cones are you need a pour spout. So these bottles come with regular lids, and you have to separately get these spouts. I almost spill on myself. Mm. Ah. Well, I'll just show you. See? You see the bottle? You see the lid, how it kind of comes out? You buy these separately and you pop them in. Boop. And that is how it pours out slowly. It's still fast, but it pours out slowly so you don't pour too much on at a time. So you need spouts for your syrup. You're going to need a baggie, a big Ziploc baggie like this. You're going to need a towel. You're going to need a hammer. This is a special kitchen hammer called a mallet. Uh, that I have for hitting meat to make it nice and soft, but you don't need this. You can use your regular hammer. You need a spoon, you need a bowl, and you need a snow cone maker. This is my snow cone maker. Uh, and I'll show you how to use it later, but it's cool. I saw one on Amazon for like $18. So if you really want to make snow cones all summer long, you can get a snow cone machine and the syrup, but that's kind of expensive. You can just do, do it differently, okay? However is easier for you. Okay, first things first, we need to get our ice. I'll put it down here. You might not see my face as good, but that's okay. Okay, here's our ice. I'm going to put in my recipe that we're gonna work on in our Zoom sessions, it says two cups, but we're just gonna throw a bunch in here today, okay? Oh, make sure your hands are clean. Did you wash your hands? I hope so. I did. Oh. 
Okay, sometimes they're hard to get out. Mom and dad can help you. Uh, and don't forget, don't be that person who doesn't refill the ice tray. You always have to fill it up with water. You guys probably have refrigerators that make ice already. So ours doesn't work, so we have to use these. If you have that, and it's really easy. You can just get some out of your refrigerator by pushing the button and the ice will fall down. Okay? Fill that up later. All right. So, now you're going to close your bag, take out all the air, and zip the top. Okay? This is a good thing to practice. If you do nothing else, you guys can practice zipping Ziploc bags because that's actually kind of hard sometimes. And then, I'm just going to keep going up and down, all right? So then, you are going to uh, put a towel on top of your ice cubes, right? See how there's a bump there? See? Okay. That's the ice. And you're going to take your hammer and you're going to smash it! Bam, 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 bam. Okay, I'm not going to do it. Whoop, there I am. I'm not going to do it here because it's really loud and I don't want to hurt your ears. So I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to smash it up and I'm going to come back. Um, I'm also going to take the ice cubes outside on the sidewalk to smash them because I don't want to hurt my counter in the kitchen. I don't want to break my counter. It's a heavy hammer. But um, it's very fun to do if you can do it. But I'm not going to do it because I don't want to hurt your ears. So one little tap, boop, and you're going to go, wah, okay, when you break it. All right, I'm going to pause it, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I hammered my ice, and look at it now. It's smaller. See that? And if you look at it, it looks pretty small, but there's still some big chunks. Like, here's a pretty big chunk, and here's a big chunk, okay? Now, why did I do this if I have a snow cone maker? Well, I will tell you. Because my snow cone maker doesn't work perfectly. It's a little old and it's not very sharp. So if I put big ice cubes in it, I can do it, but it's hard for me. So I'm gonna, use, I'm gonna just pour it all in like this. Perfect. Okay. I think it might be too much. Let's see. Oh, there's my snow cone maker. Yay. I'm going to pour the ice in here. It's going to be easier to make it into shave ice because I already made it a little small. Okay. A little tricky to put on. All right. And so unless you have a fancy snow cone maker that has lots that you can plug in and it does it for you, you get to use one like mine and you get to just spin it. It's really hard. All right, um, we have to put a bowl underneath it so that the ice comes out and I can use it. And here I go. Ooh. Oh, geez. Uh oh. <laughs> Oops. I'm gonna put, where am I gonna put it? Over here a little? Okay. Yeah. There it comes. Did you see it? Look, it's snow cone, guys. Alright. Ooh, so fluffy. There we go. Alright, it took a minute to get started, but it worked out. Guys, it's a fluffy, fluffy ice snow cone. Yay! Move this one here. Big watery mess. All right, now comes the really easy fun part. In my recipe that I am posting online uh, that we're going to talk about uh, in our groups, uh, I told you to spoon the ice into a bowl. You don't have to do that with my machine because it has bowls underneath that it already uses. So I'm going to use my bowl. It's easier that way. Okay, now let's do half and half. Okay, so I have two different flavors I like, the blue raspberry and the cherry. And usually when you buy snow cone, they put it on top, but they split it in half. I'm gonna do it in half, okay? It comes out so fast, guys, so be careful. Ooh, drippy, drippy, drippy. And if your syrup is already in the fridge, 
it shouldn't be too melty. Some of them, you see how half, half is blue and the other half is red. And you guys could totally do this at home. This is totally something you could do or someday on a job, a job you can do. Okay, it melts a little bit. Check it out, I'm in low snow cone! Right, and now is the best part. As usual, I will show you how I eat my snow cone. I'm going to try the red first. Mmm. So good. Now we're trying to. Mmm. So good. Okay, now I'm gonna try it together. I'm gonna try red and blue together. Mmm. Mmm. It's like blue chair berry. Mmm. So good. All right. So, where do you usually eat snow cones? We used to get snow cones when my daughter played softball. You can get snow cones at the softball fields. Um, and you can get snow cones really at a fair or a carnival or an amusement park, like a theme park. Um, so that's why we made snow cones today. They are also really good to eat on cold, on hot days uh, because they keep you cool. If you ate it on a cool day, it would make you really, um, it would make you really cold. So you want to eat it on hot days to cool down. It's good so you don't get heat exhaustion. All right? Okay. Yay! Made snow cones. Fantastic. Mm, so good. Oh, mm, water. Oh, mm, 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 mm